Stability Series, Initial Stability, a co-production from the Rotterdam Mainport Institute and the Paris MOU. Every ship and floating structure needs to remain upright when floating in still water or in waves. The index stability, that is, the stability of the undamaged ship, consists of the initial stability and the stability range. In this video, we will discuss the initial stability, the stability of the ship near the upright equilibrium, the stability range, the range of healing angles where the ship has a positive stability, is discussed in another video. For the initial stability, we have three possibilities. The ship is stable, unstable, or indifferent. When shortly disturbed, a stable situation will return to its original position. An unstable situation will change further when slightly disturbed, and an indifferent situation will remain in the disturbed position when the disturbing force is removed. When we look at the transverse section of our ship, we can define several points that are interesting from a stability point of view. The first point, K, is the intersection of the key line and the center line. The second point is B, the center of buoyancy. The upward force caused by the buoyancy acts in point B. The third point is G, the center of gravity. The gravity force acting on the combined hull and ion tip in and on that hull acts in point G. The fourth and final point is M, the meta center point. As we will see later in this video, the position of M is of utmost importance for the initial stability. For the initial stability, the displacement caused by the current volume of the hull is important in combination with the distances Kb, Bm, Kg and Gm. The distance Kb depends on the form and volume of the underwater hull and can be found in the stability booklet in the hydro tables. The distance Bm can be calculated. It equals the transverse moment of inertia of the water plane divided by the current volume. Bm or Km can also be found in the hydro tables. The distance Kg, the vertical position of the center of gravity of the ship, results from a weight calculation. And finally, the distance Gm, which is the, me the measure of for intact stability. As the four points, K, B, G and M, are situated on the center line, we can calculate the distance between any two of them if the three other points are known. Now let us look why G, M is important for the initial stability. Suppose we have an external moment acting on the ship. As a result from the healing moment, the ship starts to heal, and this heal has an effect on the underwater volume. The position of G, center of gravity remains in place. In principle, there are now two moments acting on the hull, the healing moment M and the writing moment caused by the buoyancy. When the ship will reach a healed equilibrium, both moments must be equal. The weight is a force through G, and the buoyancy is a force through B1. For small angles, B1 lies right under M. And the forces through G and B1 are equal but opposite in direction. The writing moment is a force multiplied with the distance G to Z. And this distance GZ equals GM sine P. In other words, GZ is the measure for the writing arm, the measure for stability. And for small healing angles, GZ is equal to GM sine 5. GM is the measure for initial stability. Positive GM results in a positive GZ and a positive writing arm when the ship is healed. When GM is zero, G and M are on the same position, and the GZ will also be zero. After a small inclination of the ship, the ship will remain in the healed position, which is an indifferent stability. When GM is negative, G lies above M, the ship is unstable. As long as the ship is exactly upright, the ship, the ship remains upright. But as soon as a small healing moment is applied, the weight of the ship and the healing moment will work in the same direction and the ship will capsize. Thank you for watching this video.